Hello and welcome to another digitizing tutorial. Uh, I wanted to show you again how to create an embroidery file for free and easily. I had a lot of trouble trying to do this and I had to end up paying someone to uh, digitize my file. So I found a really easy way to do it and I wanted to share that with you today. So what we need is a program called SoArt and I'll provide a download link to easily download this program. It's a free program. They offer a 30-day demo, and so it will definitely get the job done if it's a one-time thing. And if you're a business or you need to use this for more than 30 days, just buy the program because it's great. So once you download the program, install it, open it, run the demo, and you can see here that I have my logo. I'll just drag and drop that. And just to let you know, this is a PNG, so I have decent quality, and if you have a JPEG, that'll work just fine, don't worry. So once you drag and drop your logo into SoArt, we're going to start with the wizard, and we click on that wand, and that brings up the wizard, and we click on next, and so we're going to go through about four screens. The first one is reducing the number of colors, so I'm going to select the lowest number of colors until my image starts to change color. So this isn't what I want. This isn't what I want because these two oranges have combined. There's no longer red. So 32 is low as I can go. I'll click on next. And now I'm going to merge the remaining similar colors. And I just do the same thing. I select the largest number here. And I can go all the way to six. Click on next. Now I'm going to reduce the speckles. So I just trial and error, and I click all the way down, and my image doesn't seem to be changing, but it is. Next. Now I'm going to merge any remaining small percentage colors, and so I do the exact same thing, and it looks like I can go all the way. Nope, can't go to 12. So I'll stop at 4, and I'll click on Finish. Great. Now we have our simplified logo. And we're going to click on this Stitch Image button. We're going to keep all of these settings the same. Click on Auto Sew Image, Sew All Colors. And that's it. It's going to sew these colors and apply the stitching. Now, let's assume that you don't want this white background. Um, we're just going to click on this white box and delete the white color. Now we're left with just the colors of the logo. Great, so now we want to save the image and create our embroidery file. We go to File, Save As, and I'm going to just rename the file, and I'll save it as a BMP, Save, and now we save the embroidery file. So here's the file name. Here is Save As Type, and from here we can save the file format that we need. I'll select VIP for this example. I'll leave all of these settings the same and I'll click on save. And that's it. Successfully saved. And you can see that it even calculated the number of stitches for each color. And so here are my files. It, that's it. It's that simple. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. Let me know if it worked. Let me know if it didn't work. That's the end of this video tutorial. Good luck and thanks for watching.